Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about a problem that we got from 2013 American Invitational Math Exam or AIM. AIM is a selective 15 question 3 hour test given since 1983. The AIM is the second of two tests used to determine qualification for the United States Mathematic Olympiad. The first is AMC or American Mathematics Competition. We are going to review some problems from AMC in the future videos. Now let's talk about the problem. In this problem, we have 2 to the power of 1000. We get log 2 to the power of b from this number, and then we get another log in base 2 to the power of a from the result, and at the end, we get log 2 of the result. We want to have this expression to be 0. And we want to find all possible a and b as positive integer numbers. And then we want to find sum of a plus b for all possible a and b. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about the problem. To solve this problem, first start with log 2 of a number is equal to 0. So that number should be 1. Now let's say that we have log of n in base a is equal to 1. So n should be equal to the base or a. We are going to use this trick. We have log to the power of a of a number is equal to 1. So that number should be equal to 2 to the power of a. At the end, we have log of 2 to the power of 1000 in base 2 to the power of b is equal to 2 to the power of a. Now we want to simplify it further. Note that we are going to use 2 to the power of b to the power of 2 to the power of a is equal to 2 to the power of 1000. Now let's simplify it further. We are going to use a trick that we have here. Basically, a to the power of x to the power of y is equal to a to the power of xy. With that, we are going to say 2 to the power of b to the power of 2 to the power of a is actually 2 to the power of b times to the power of a. And this should be equal to 2 to the power of 1000. So we are going to have b times 2 to the power of a is equal to 1000. Now we have a very simple equation to solve. We have b times 2 to the power of a is equal to 1000. Remember 1000 can be written as 8 times 125. 8 is equal to 2 to the power of 3 and 125 is equal to 5 to the power of 3. We want to find all possible positive integer a and b. Basically, there are several cases here. If a is equal to 1, then we have 2 to the power of a or 2. In that case, b should be equal to 500. On the other hand, a can be 2. If so, then 2 to the power of a is going to be 4, and then b should be 250. As a third case, a can be 3, or 2 to the power of a can be 8. So b should be 125. Remember, a cannot be 0, since a and b are positive integer numbers. So at the end, we have three possible cases, and for each case, we are going to calculate a plus b, and then we calculate sum of a plus b for all possible values that we have here. And the result is going to be 881. And that's our answer. Now let's summarize the steps that we took. If log of b in base a is equal to 0, then we can say b is equal to 1. If we have log of a number in base a is equal to 1, 
then we can say n is equal to the base. If we have log of a number in base a is equal to b, then we can say a to the power of b is equal to n. And at the end, we use the trick that we have here for a to the power of x to the power of y is actually equal to a to the power of x times y. With these, we simplify the equations and at the end, we had a simple equation to solve. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles and math involved activities, please subscribe to the channel.